Okay, sir. With all this explanation, the information you have given to us today, if you're producing, how many hours will it take you to get a yield? And how many yield can you get in 24 hours? So basically, we are talking about minimum 10 to 12 heats in 24 hours, as per two hours of Heat tapping time, tap, tap to tap time. Mm -hmm. So that is why I said it completely depends on the density and the quality of the scrap which you are using. That is why I gave you the recipe at the beginning that you should use. Try to use 30% of shredded scrap and the rest 70% you can use. Many of the companies, they are even using sponge iron yes. or HBI mm. because Nowadays in Africa, we are suffering from big problems with the scraps. So people are now shifting towards sponge iron or HBI or CBI. Okay, guys, going for the next question, I will be right back. Okay, sir, the rolling meat parts is where we are going to the next. Now, I want to ask a few questions about the rolling meat. You know, the next time I ask you about the tonnage and how many tons you can produce in a day and how to reduce the cost in a rolling mill. Now, I understand the labor involved in the rolling mill. Yeah. The labor manual, the expatriates that's in charge of the rolling mill. So how do you mitigate that, sir? See, basically, so far as my experience is concerned in Africa, African people are hardworking people, first of all. Thank you very so much, So if sir. you teach them the right thing, they will learn the right thing. Wow. So it's the way how you pet them to know what the work is. Yeah, wow. And if you tell them what the work is, they will do it absolutely the way you tell them. Wow. They will not do anything further of what you told them. Wow. Wow. So I would say your training starts from how you pet the people and how mm. you make them understand within the work. Piece. It's all about. Yeah. Okay. okay. Now, the final part we are going to talk about today is now how, what advice? for the general public or for my viewers what do you telling them about the steel industry in nigeria particularly i'm not talking about africa this time the nigeria that you have worked for almost 11 years so i want you to tell us give our audience a sense of belonging regarding the steel industry in nigeria i would just say some things which will be very particular See, if you are thinking that you will buy a low quality scrap with low price, that means you are going in a wrong way. Mm. It's better you purchase something with a little higher price, but heavy scraps, so that your melting will be faster. Your yield will be coming to 92 to 94 percent, which will save you a lot of cost. Because if you buy a low density scrap, that means you are losing your yield, you are losing your manpower cost, you are losing your time of tap to tap time from the heat. Mm -hmm. So for the steel melting shop, it is that. And especially, as I said before, that you should use the hot pellet shear and you should definitely go for a level two automation for the CCM. Mm. That is most important for the steel melting shop department. And if you have the uh, capexial investment way, then you should definitely go for a shredding machine, which you can get anywhere from China. Now, if somebody like me, I have uh, a, a bundle machine, which I imported from China down to my yard in Benin, okay. collecting uh, car body from customers, make it very small, load it to companies. Now, for those people who don't know what bundling is, who don't know what shared scrap is, you know, you made mention of shared scrap the last time, and I tried to make emphasis on it. Because shared scrap is something that you bring a material and break into pieces, or you compress them, make it very small, and you use it then to make. Now, for those people, they wonder, how did you get these things done? You understand? What kind of motivational and experience would you like to share with them? So that they, if they are having doubt on how to invest in the steel industry, if they are having doubt on how to uh, produce the company, because I know a lot of Nigerians, sorry my question is taking long, I know we have a lot of Nigerians who have so much money, they rather take it abroad, they don't want to do anything, they don't want to invest in Nigeria. Are you advising them that if they invest in steel industry, they will make their money back? Yeah, definitely. Because see, scrap is something which can make you a millionaire in a day and make you a beggar in a day. Mm. It depends on how you do your business with the people. Mm. You should never do any business on credit. Mm. Nobody does business on credit. But 
here in Nigeria, what I see is, okay, I will pay you after one week, I will pay you after 10 days, I will pay you after 15 days. But he, if it's another country, they will add on interest on top of it. But in mm. Nigeria or in any African country, they, they know be so. At all. Oh, I know. Then what, what advice do you have for our government? As a foreigner, if you can give our government uh, a good advice regarding the steel industry, because government have st com uh, steel company that is not functioning. Hajekuta still is yes. there. Yes. The DNC yes. was there. Yes. So these two major companies, it's only the foreigners that are producing the steel that we are using in Nigeria as of today. What advice will you give our government to revive our steel industry and have enough labor employed, enough staff employed? As I said, that the labor in Nigeria is now well trained to run a steel company. Hmm. But they still need a head of the department who go tell them, say, this is how you should this be. Is how it should be. You should tighten the bolt to this extent only. Because for Nigeria, they could just do like this mm. and it could break. You understand? So make it no be like that. So awareness, what I said, mm. and training mm. is the most important thing. Now, concerning about the government which you just spoke, mm. there is a lot of scope of steel in Nigeria because Nigeria is a developing country now. Yes. You understand? So construction is everywhere. Yes. See the condition of your roads. Yes. In India, in China, in the developing or countries. developed countries, you will see concrete roads. Hmm. For concrete, you must need steel. Yes. You must need clinkers to produce cement. Nigeria has everything. It's God just bless us with everything. Yes, you are blessed with every mineral in the world. You are blessed with crude oil. You are blessed with uh, scraps. You are blessed with good labor, hard working labor. So everything is there, but the utilization is not perfect. It's not perfect. That is why we expatriates have to come all the way down, traveling 18 hours to come down to this country. To help us. To help you guys to know what to the do. basic way is to move. Wow. Wow, wow. So are you, are you advising our government to give us more training? Yes, I would. Invest on the industry? Is that what you are telling us? Yes, because if you see the condition of Nigeria now, Nigeria is one of the highest producing crude oil countries in Africa. Nigeria as of now has four refineries. Yes. But you are not using one of the refineries. No one is working. That is why the shame. cost of the fuel is extremely high. The per capita incomes are less in Nigeria. Wow. So you must first invest your money to start your refinery so that the crude oil which you produce yourself will give you petrol, diesel, kerosene, which will be on a lower cost compared to the global market. As soon as you will get these things on a lower lower side, your transportation costs will reduce. will reduce, your expenses will reduce, your eateries will reduce. Wow. Okay, it's fast. You have given us full details of what we need in this country. Now to my uh, fellow Nigerians, I want to applaud you. You see, a foreigner has told us what we need. Uh, he has been part of this country for for 11 years and is going and coming and he has been working with the steel industry in Nigeria even where he is currently which I don't want to mention is still working there as a steel technical director you understand you can see that the steel industry is very broad is very broad nothing you can do without using steel if you are building a house you're building a, anything constructing bridges constructing roads you're going to need steel to complete them so I beg the government, I plead to the government, please look into the steel industry. It is high time we shift away from the direction of uh, crude oil and look at other resources that can give us good income in this country, that can improve the economy of this country. Nigeria has suffered a lot that to the extent that every youth that finishes from university today wants to jack back. All we are asking for is simple. All we are asking for is good health care. All we are asking for is road. All we are asking for is good education. Please, for our children's sake, government, we are calling upon you. I'm using this medium. In this little way that I can, I'm using this medium to call on the federal government. Please, the Ajakuta still, please let it be revived. The data still, please let it be revived. Enough 
enough of turnaround maintenance we have been hearing over the years. Now this nobody, no poor man can afford a steel of iron rod again because it has skyrocketed over seven hundred and fifty thousand naira per ton. So you can imagine if you don't have money, you cannot build a house. You are, people are complaining of increment in the apartments. So when you are buying the cement is high, iron rod is high. Why can't people not complain? Please, thank you, my viewers. If you like what you are doing, we want you to like it, comment on it, repost it. If you want the full video, go down to the YouTube page. You will see it there. Thank you and God bless you. Sir, I want to say thank you very much for your time. Thank you very much. I sincerely you. appreciate your insight. All viewers, I would request you to like, subscribe, and move ahead this video across the world. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much. Nice talking to you. God bless you.